So it's been a month since I last went to see the video and since then I've had my three assessments, as you know. Now this meeting might be about the reports that those assessors wrote. We might go over the references if he's got those since I asked for them. Well, he might not. He might not have got any of them. I also don't know what's next. And the only thing in the diary at the moment that I know for sure is the Towards Ordain Ministry course, but that starts at the end of January and it's now the end of November. So. What are we going to do about Advent? We may discuss scheduling, as in panel dates and things, but I suspect that's a bit early at the moment. I can't believe all the assessments have happened. I can't believe it's been a month. It's flown by. I suspect this is the part of the journey that's going to feel like that more and more. Suddenly, as more things happen, more important things happen, it's going to feel faster and faster, which is very much a change from the frustration at the slowness of it from a year ago. So with that in mind, I think it is important that I remember to find my stillness, as the, one of the chaplains put it. I remember to pray and contemplate and take my time. I'm allowed to take my time and I shouldn't be disillusioned by the fast pace of it into thinking I need to go at a breakneck speed. So, see you on the other side. Okay, a summary of that meeting is here's a huge long list of things to do. Not that Alan gave me them as things to do, but I put together myself things that throughout the conversation I was thinking, oh, I should do that, I should do that. He had one reference and one report. So he had my friend's reference, which I had seen because my friend was very sweet and sent it to me, and the layperson's report. It was generally very positive. That's good, I suppose. So he sent it to me, so I'll, I'll go through it and write a few more thoughts about it. I was already on the nose with my comment about things hurtling along. It's, you know, one of the first things he said was, OK, so once we've got all the reports and the references, then uh, we need to set up a meeting with the Archdeacon. So, oh, God, that's next. <laughs> but I need to chase up some of my referees. And a lot of the conversation was about refining my form uh, because, you know, it was a perfectly suitable thing for to send the examining chaplains but it's going to get sent to the Archdeacon, you know, and, and stay in my paperwork for the rest of the process. So he's, he had a few thoughts on it, which were very helpful. And he was very sweet. He kept on sort of almost, he was like, oh, you can put whatever you like. You can ignore me completely. And I was like, no, Alan, I need you to tell me what is suitable, what is relevant. You know, I, I put, I sort of just bleh all over that. You know, I just did, did everything uh, I could think of would be useful and refining and um, not just, not improving, but yeah clarifying and being more precise and things like that that's all great that's i'm really glad he said that uh so i'll put some effort into that i'll put my extensive to-do list uh, in the in the blog post below because those are all the other things we talked about i haven't got time to sort of go over them but oh yeah I'll, I'll go over them in the in the blog post so yeah still still going just go 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 really it's exciting and alan keeps on saying you know we wouldn't put you forward and suggest we you know keep doing things Unless we thought you, unless we, unless he thought that um, I would get through basically, you know. So hopefully next steps is getting all that paperwork together so that he can send it to the Archdeacon's office and uh, set up a meeting. And then I'll meet with him and I'm also going to try and arrange another sort of coaching session with Lucy before the Archdeacon. So yeah, those would be the, the next things and all the other things on the studios. <laughs>